Hey friends. So I wanted to do a video that is super straight up for you brand new beginners, like brand, brand new beginners. So if that is you, you are in the right place. If you are more experienced, awesome. This is just going to be a nice review of basic postures. We're going to go really slowly. So basically this is for everybody. I'm really glad you're here. All right, as always with every yoga class, this is your practice. I am not the boss of you. I'm gonna offer up some ideas. You do them if they work for your body. If not, don't do them. Do something else, rest, breathe. As long as you are here on the mat breathing, you are doing yoga correctly, okay? So take a seat, however makes most sense for you. You can have legs crossed, legs out straight, hips on heels, you do you. Take a seat, drop those shoulders down away from the ears. Maybe close the eyes or lower the gaze. And we're just gonna take some deep breaths here. Relax the jaw, soften the belly. And just land here, you made it. It's the hardest part. Good, relax through the palms of the hands. Take a deep breath in. And a long exhale. Good, release those hands down next to your hips. And then reach the arms down, out, up. Fingertips touch, gaze goes up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Good, let's do that again. Reach down, out, and up. Get really tall here. And as you exhale, hands come to the heart one more time. Reach up, look up. And slowly exhale. Awesome, draw that right hand down onto the mat next to your hip. Left arm reaches up. Get really tall here and then bend into that right elbow just a little bit. So you can bend in a lot and stay there. You can pulse in and out here. We're just trying to get a stretch in the left side body. So draw that top shoulder behind you a little bit. Excellent. One more breath here. And then come back up to center. Let's do the other side. So plant that left hand down, reach right arm up. Maybe you want to take a deep bend in that left elbow. Maybe you want to stay more upright, your choice. Maybe you want to pulse in, but ground down through that right hip. Draw that top elbow behind you a little bit. Good. Think about keeping the back of the neck long. Nice. Come back up to center. Take a deep inhale. Sigh that out. All right, let's come over into hands and knees. So that is called tabletop pose in yoga. So we want to have the wrists right underneath the shoulders, spread the fingers wide. We wanna have the knees right underneath the hips and press the tops of the feet into the mat. Good. Take a deep breath in. And just let that go. Good. On your next inhale, drop your belly down towards the mat and lift the gaze up. Inhale. And exhale. Drop that head down. Push the shoulder blades up to the sky. Tuck your tail under. Good. This is cat and cow. Drop belly down. Gaze goes up. And then exhale that reversing. Good. So keep going here. Coordinating the breath with the movement, inhaling and exhaling deeply. We're just warming up the spine here. Good. One more time in each direction with cat and cow. Good. 
Beautiful. And then come through center. So back is flat. Now we're going to move the left hand and put it right underneath your face on the mat. So right in the middle of the mat. And then right fingertips are going to come to your right ear. So point that right elbow down and then inhale and open up. We're going to take a spinal twist here. So opening up to the right as much as you can and then exhale, drop that right elbow down towards the mat. Good. Let's do that three times. Inhale, open and twist. Good. Exhale, drop that elbow down. One last time. Inhale, opening up, getting that twist all the way through the thoracic spine. And exhale, drawing that hand down. Good. So right hand comes to the center of the mat now. Left fingertips to left ear. Left elbow points down. Inhale, opening up, spiraling open to the left. And then exhale, elbow comes down. Good. Inhale, opening up. Good, and exhale. And then twisting open to the left. Think about stacking that left shoulder over top of the right. Doesn't matter if you don't get there. And then that elbow comes down. Good, finding this tabletop position. Now I should mention, if you have tender knees, you can always throw a blanket or a towel underneath to give you a little extra padding. Good. So take a deep breath in here, engage through the core. So draw those core muscles in, but keep breathing. Good, long exhale. See if you can keep those core muscles engaged even as you exhale. Nice, all right, let's get ready for downward facing dog. So you might wanna move your hands a little bit farther away from the knees, just to give you a little bit of a wider base. Your knees are underneath the hips, but you're gonna tuck the toes this time. So take a deep breath in, press into the hands, press into the feet, and lift the knees up. Hips go high for downward facing dog. Good, so you can keep a bend in the knees here. That's absolutely fine. See if you wanna walk your dog out. So that means bending one knee and straightening the other. It's gonna move your hips around. It's gonna warm up the backs of your legs. Good, and then try to find some stillness here. So press into the hands, press into the feet, maybe drawing the heels a little bit closer to the mat. They never have to hit. Maybe the knees are bent, maybe you're working them towards straight. Have a slight bend in those elbows, push the chest back towards the thighs. Good, take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, take lots of little steps, bend the knees a lot and walk up towards your hands. Take your feet really wide, maybe as wide as the mat. We're gonna take a forward fold. This is called ragdoll. So your hands can rest on the legs. You can interlace into opposite elbows. You can sway side to side. You can have your hands on the ground if they reach, whatever you want. We're trying to get length through the spine here. So maybe shaking the head yes and no. Beautiful, bend those knees up a whole lot. And then slowly, slowly make your way up to a standing position. You can drop those shoulders down away from the ears, palms face forward, take a breath here. And let that go. Good, maybe you wanna take a moment, maybe resting one hand on heart, one hand on belly. Maybe you like to set an intention for your class. Maybe just thinking about why you came to the mat today, something you're grateful for, something you're cultivating. It can be anything. Good, take a deep breath in. Sigh that out, let go.
Excellent. Drop those hands down next to your body and take a step up towards the top of the mat. So we're going to come into warrior one and warrior two. You're going to take a big step back with that right leg. Big step back, back toes on an angle, front toes facing the top of the mat and bend into that front knee. Awesome. Hips and shoulders are square to the top of the mat. And then when you're ready, reach those arms up, but sink the shoulders down. Good. So looking straight ahead, reaching up with those arms. This is warrior one. So press into that right pinky toe, sink into that front knee, but don't let it go beyond the ankle. Good. Tuck your tailbone ever so slightly so you take any crunch out of that low back. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Hands come to heart center and then spin open to the long side of the mat. There you go. So reach forward and reach back. Gaze over those left fingertips. This is warrior two. So your shoulders are stacked right over the top of the hips. Arms are reaching forward and backward and don't lose the bend in that front knee. Good. Smooth out the breath here. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Bring the hands to the hips. Come up on those back toes. Twist forward and then step up. Palms face forward. Mountain pose. Great job. Good. Breathe deep here. And let that go. Beautiful. Let's do that other side. So left leg is going to take that big step back. Toes on the ankle and the angle sink into that right knee. Hips, shoulders square to the short edge of the mat. Drop shoulders down. Reach those arms up. Warrior one. Relax the toes. Relax the jaw. Ground the feet into the mat and then find a little lift in the heart here. Good. Set your gaze in one spot. That is your, your drishti, as we call it in yoga, your external point of focus that helps with that internal focus. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to heart center, and then pivot so that shoulders and hips are facing the long side of the mat. Gaze is over the right fingertips this time. Sink down. Don't lose the bend in that right knee. So here we are in warrior two, shoulders away from the ears. Heart lifts, breath is smooth. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands come to the hips. Come up on those back toes, shifting towards the top of the mat. Step up. Find your mountain pose, palms facing forward. Good. So feel the connection to the mat. At the same time, you're feeling this lift towards the sky with the crown of the head. Breathe in here and let that go. Excellent. Take a seat on the mat. So knees are going to come out wide. Feet are going to come sole to sole. So you can hang on to the knees, the shins, the feet, whatever you can grab. Sitting up tall and gently let the knees come down towards the ground. They may be up towards the sky and that's where they're going to stay. Totally fine. But think about a little gentle encouragement of the knees towards the ground. You don't want to mess with knees. So keep that heart lifted. 
If you'd like a little bit more challenge, a little bit more heat, see what happens if you shift the weight forward a little bit. Good. Take a deep breath here. Long exhale, see if you can come into this just an inch more. Good, and slowly coming out, drawing the hands to the outsides of the knees and draw them in. Beautiful, all right. We are gonna come down onto our backs. So slowly, slowly making your way down and draw the knees into the chest. Maybe a little side to side here. Good, squeezing those knees in, release the arms out like a T, and then let those knees fall over to the right. Maybe gaze goes to the left. Getting a spinal twist here. Nice, bring those knees in, take them to the left, gaze goes to the right. Good, bring those knees in, give them one more squeeze. Beautiful, now let those legs go. You can lay them out long, you can keep the knees bent whatever you want, but get as comfortable as you can be. So this is Shavasana. This is our resting posture. So maybe it feels good to flip the hands so that the palms are facing up, maybe widening the placement of the arms. You can take up some space here but just be heavy on the mat. Let the eyes close and just rest. Focusing on the sensation of the breath. And you can stay here in Shavasana for as long as you would like. Take this time to rest. Thank you so much for coming to the mat today. It is always my honor to lead you through your practice. May you be well, be safe, be happy, be healthy, and live with peace. Namaste. I'll see you next time. For more meditation and yoga, check out bluemala.com.